Hey, I got a lot of questions last year. How my corn looks so good and did so good, and I didn't I didn't use a, a corn planter. I used a drill, so I'm gonna try to give you a quick version of how I do it with a regular seed drill. A lot of people have those for food pots and all. And I love planting corn just cause I'm in Mississippi, but in December, if you squint and look at it, you think, well, man, that almost looks like I'm in Iowa. But anyway, this right here is a six foot casco drill. It's got nine holes on it. <clears throat> I think it's about seven, eight inches in between each word, each drill, each uh, thing pops out. You can see the holes is right there. All right, <clears throat> for me, I ended up with like 30 inch rows in between the corn. So what that equated to was me doing the outside one on that one, the middle one right here, and this one. And you can see it's about 30 inches. In order for the seed to just stay on the three holes I need, I took some uh, posted signs or beware of the dog signs and cut them. Took a measurement on the bottom down there, cut it across, and then angled it up. I just used Gorilla Tape to tape them into place, and that way the seed just stays in those three ports right there. Now, one of the first times I did this, I had trouble seeing the rows. This thing's pretty heavy, but it doesn't make that big of an indention in the ground. And if you want to spread or whatever, whatever you're going to do, you need the rows the same with the part so all the wheels don't crush stuff. You know how that is. I'm not a farmer. I'm not good at math either, but I figured it out how to do it. These are 30 inch rolls. So I just measured 30 inches from the last hole and put a mark on the ground at 30 inches. Went up here to the front of the tractor. Did the same thing, I measured the distance from the bucket to that hole, and I measured 30 inches, and I built me a roll marker. And now what that does, I can see it from the cab. I can also drop it down. This is a two by four, what I think half inch all thread rod, washers on both sides, tighten it down with a nut, and just clamped it to the bucket. I know the measurements are right, I can actually drop this in the ground while I'm planting and it'll dig a trench. I really don't have to if it's a good day and the dirt's won't have done well. You can actually see where it's hitting. That makes me, when I get down and turn around, I'll move over 30 inches till this is marked up. That ain't rocket science. I've been doing it forever, but I didn't have a row marker or a corn planter, but that got it done right there. How about them cicadas? They kind of loud. All right, the corn's planted. And uh, no, we didn't, like I said, we didn't have a corn planter, none of the right gear, but uh, it's in the ground, you know, and corn I think will come up pretty easy if, if it makes good contact. So we'll see. I'll throw up a little video of last year's corn crop. It did pretty good. Now, could I be a row crop farmer? Probably not. But anyway, all we're doing is feeding some deer and some turkey. So, hey, if you got a drill, give it a shot. <laughs>